Hey guys, thank you for joining me. As always, I'm your file player, and you've stepped into the file play land. I wanted to make this video regarding the news that Deontay Wilder, according to Eddie Hearn, won't be attending the Andy Ruiz versus uh, Anthony Joshua fight um, here in New York City, Madison Square Garden, on June 1st. Um, According to Eddie Hearn and an IFL interview I just watched, and I've heard this from other sources as well, um, that Deontay Wilder won't be attending the um, matchup that uh, Anthony Joshua is about to embark upon on uh, June 1st, which is uh, one week from the making of this video. Um, Personally, I mean, I, I would have uh, rather um, Wilder uh, attend the match, but I could also say that I wanted uh, Anthony Joshua to attend um, Wilder's last match or even to show interest in, um, or act like he was uh, showing some sort of interest in what could be his uh, potential opponent. Or, you know, if you listen to Eddie Hearn say it, what uh could be the opponent that Anthony that Anthony Joshua wants the most in Deontay Wilder you know you'd want to drum up interest in a match between you know yourself and uh, Wilder if you were Anthony Joshua even if you weren't fighting him next but um, initially I was gonna make a video say stating the reasons why uh, Deontay Wilder should attend the match and shouldn't attend the match and um actually in my reasoning for why he shouldn't attend the match i wasn't going to put why he shouldn't attend the match necessarily or i was going to give reasons as to why he won't be attending the match um and i think that's more fitting now that i know or that we all know that he more than likely won't be attending this match but um i just want to run down the my list of uh reasons as to why he should have done it, and um, I've already mentioned one in the fact that it could drum up interest, or that it would drum up interest for a um, match between uh, Wilder and Anthony Joshua. You know, if you're an avid boxing fan or uh, even a casual boxing fan, you probably already know that these two champion heavyweights should have collided. Um, one in Anthony Joshua holds all the belts, though he's fighting in obscurity when it comes to the American fan base because he's fighting on an app and um, he was fighting at a different uh, a different time zone when he was fighting in the UK, which is five hours ahead of um, the US time. So he was fighting in the afternoon um, here uh, in America. Um, he never, um, this is gonna be his first time fighting on in uh, Eastern Standard Time, um, which is like the time when um, or a more uh, palatable time here in um, America. But um, I think it's like a little bit uh, almost too late in the sense that at post Klitschko, he had a lot of, uh, of, of fanfare in his direction. And um, I think if people naturally thought that he was going to fight Wilder next or soon thereafter, like, I mean, or fight here in America next or soon thereafter, you know, that's kind of like dissipated where people don't know um, what's going on with him as far as the casuals. Um, another reason um, I was going to say that he should have uh, uh, attended the fight was so he could uh, either enter the ring or be barred from entering the ring as uh, Anthony Joshua threatened to do uh, in the past as far as not letting Wilder go into the ring because supposedly there's not negotiations established or some bullshit reason um, that Anthony Joshua gave in the past that pretty much resulted in him saying that he wouldn't allow Wilder to enter the ring. Um, if he did enter the ring, again, it would drum up interest. Um, it would kind of let people see uh, the two champions together and kind of like with a stare off or with the beginnings of uh, maybe the make the talks of a fight. Um, 
But if he was barred from, if Wilder was barred from entering the ring, like he was in the past, um, that would only make uh, Anthony Joshua look like a bigger bitch than he already looks like. Um, the uh, I also thought another reason he could have um, attended the fight was in the event that he was allowed to enter the ring, he could proclaim his uh, demands of uh, 50-50 um, as far as the splits between um, himself being Wilder and Anthony Joshua. And you'd see what um, Anthony Joshua or Eddie Hearn's reaction is in real time. Like whether they say like, you know, fuck it, let's do it. Or whether they say, well, we'll get like back to drawing some sort of plan and delay the process. Um, which you would expect that not to be the reaction that Anthony Joshua or Eddie Hearn would um, would um, show because according to Eddie Hearn, this is the fight that they want, and this is the fight that um, the only fight that uh, Joshua um, wants to make. And I believe that at this point to be true out of desperation. But if you're so desperate, then you make a demand for or a demand for 50/50 is presented to you which is kind of like old news at this point because Wilder's probably been making that same demand for um, maybe a year. So if you really wanted to make the fight and you already have some sort of foreknowledge of the 50-50 offer and you um, get cute when they throw that demand in your face in the ring, then you know something is, is awry. Um, and it'd be good for fans to see that rather than to see like these uh, these uh, whisperings or rumors. You know, we you know it'd be good to have video evidence, if you will. Um, a reason that I, I said that he shouldn't attend the fight, or why I think he wouldn't attend the fight, was that um, he doesn't want to give any um, fanfare or support to Anthony Joshua and uh, the zone being that he's not working with the zone and the zone just sent him an offer that uh, he didn't find to be suitable you know you wouldn't want to help that platform and you definitely don't want to help this guy who's uh, acting like he's shitting on you as far as his popularity goes and as far as his money making ability goes um, especially um, when you're kind of like peaking as far as popularity goes where Anthony Joshua's been diminishing since 2017, I'd I, I care to argue. Um, uh, another reason would be that AJ didn't attend his fight versus Dominic Brazil, which was just two, uh, two weeks ago um, from the time of uh, this fight going down. You know, Anthony Joshua not only didn't attend uh, that match, but uh, his match uh, before the um, Dominic Brazil match um, Anthony Joshua said that he would be sleeping during the time that that match would be happening and I think he's given indication or he gave indications that he didn't watch the match at all which I don't believe to be true um, so it's almost in a sense like um, I mean I'm not saying that that's um, the direct reasoning behind him lying and saying that he's not watching these fights or whatever have you but He's almost giving it um, no credence uh, or acting like he's giving these Wilder matches no credence or no reason to watch it. So, uh, you know, I could also say that Wilder doesn't want to do the same for him here on uh, U.S. soil. He doesn't want to give credence to an uh, event that really has no fanfare at this, uh, at this moment. And I'm not telling you... Um, bullshitting you at the making of this video is happening I'm actually a couple blocks away from where the uh, match up between Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz is gonna take place um, you see no billboard nobody talks about this fight and I'm not saying it to be a uh, fucking um, to downplay the matchup or to this um, this uh, matchroom event, 
but it is it is what it is. I mean, people don't even know who Andy Ruiz is for the most part. Um, Anthony Joshua has been hiding away in, on an app here uh, domestically. Um, people have kind of forgotten about Anthony Joshua in America, and I'm not saying that. To, I mean, if if people know anything about Anthony Joshua, it's basically off of uh, Deontay Wilder's name here in the states. Um, so I mean, like um, potentially, and I, I'm not even saying potentially. I mean, like, because Anthony Joshua is not going to just distinguish himself in the ring to where people are going to talk about it like um, like they are talking about Brazil getting knocked out by Wilder in large part because it's going to happen on an app it, it's going to happen like where maybe 100,000 people are watching it live and I'm giving uh, I'm being generous in saying that 100,000 people would be watching this fight because I I don't think that's going to be the um the actual number. Well, actually, I'm not sure. I mean, I think that maybe they're going to have some um, spillover um, subscribers to the zone that subscribe to the app for the Canelo Danny Jacobs fight, like myself. Um, come May uh, or come June 4th or 5th, I'm going to be um, unsubscribing from the zone. Uh, and I think a lot of other people will do the same. So maybe there's going to be some runoff and uh, some people watching this uh, Joshua Ruiz matchup because they bought the zone like to watch the Canelo Danny Jacobs match like myself. So, I mean, I think this is the most um, people that Anthony Joshua could have watching him while he's on the zone is uh, this coming June 1st. I mean, I think a lot of people are going to unsubscribe like myself. Um, shortly thereafter um and another reason i mean i didn't have this listed but you know um according to uh Hearn, like i said before they're desperate to make this match and um they haven't shown any signs as far as like anthony joshua like attending the fights or talking about wilder much like um but they haven't really got out in front of it and said that they're hands down like from the, the marching orders are to go forward with 50 50 and they know that wilder wants 50 50 so 50 50 is what it is and that's it that's what's on the table from the matchroom camp you know they're saying more so like along the lines of you know we may be have we may have to go to 50 50 or we may be willing to go to 50-50, but they don't, you know, want to talk to us. Or um, they're saying that, um, or we've heard that Wilder um, won't even accept 50-50 at this point. No, nah, like, get out in front of it and fucking say, like, you know, I'm offering 50-50. Like, fucking, uh, you know, and maybe Anthony Joshua should do that when he fights, um, if he gets past uh, Andy Ruiz Jr. Um, come June 1st in the ring. I mean, that's how you say you want to fight. Like, don't say, I'm going to talk to my advisors and see who I fight next. Nah, motherfucker. Like, fucking say, like, you know, like, this and 50-50 is what I'm putting out there. Like, fucking, I want this motherfucker to fight me. Like, don't get on no business shit or no fucking cookie cutter bullshit fucking Olympic. Like, I don't want to hear that shit, bro. That shit don't sell it. That, that sh that's not popping out here, bro. Like, in the States. It's really not. You got this dude that's killing motherfuckers in the ring. You know, um, and you're trying to, like, run with some fucking cookie cutter, like, fucking tennis club bullshit. Like, that's not selling, bro. Like, it's, it's really not. Like, you're not, like, you, that's selling to hoes. Like, that's selling to hoes that are looking for husbands or some shit. Like, fucking, and that, I mean, and even women in the States aren't really fucking uh, tripping over themselves over that bullshit. Like, they're really not. Like, we're a little bit rougher on this side of, of the pond, like as far as what we expect from our celebrities and our athletes. Like, they like the bad boys out here, like fucking, um, not the fucking cookie cutter, like fucking sharp looking dude, like fucking, that you could uh, introduce to your mom, like fucking. I think like fucking maybe older women would probably be into that kind of shit, but that's not gonna win, win over the, the, the populace here in America.
Um, I think also too, um, as far as uh, one of Wilder's reasons not to um, attend the fight is um, that Wilder really um, could freeze AJ out at this point. Um, and it would be ironic and um, sort of satisfying, like from, um, I'm pretty sure Wilder's standpoint and myself, if this fight doesn't get made, if I had to, you know, really have a silver lining in all this, would be that even though um, Anthony Joshua threatened to freeze Deontay Wilder out, um, Wilder really has the, the ability to freeze um, Anthony Joshua out, being that Anthony Joshua still has some sort of commitment to the zone. He may be fight if he fights even one more fight on the zone. That's just um, you know um, killing his uh, any sort of um, growth here that he has the, uh, in America. If he fights on the zone again, I'm pretty sure they they're gonna want another American matchup. That's gonna stifle him in the UK market as well. I mean, I think a lot of this stuff that we see, like as far as the comments in these um, YouTube videos or on these chat or message boards, I mean, I think that's uh, only a few very committed low lives that are getting on everybody's videos and talking shit like um, and trying to shit on um, um, Deontay Wilder and uh, blow Anthony Joshua's poll. But those numbers uh, or any, any numbers that are related to Anthony Joshua have been diminishing across the board. And that's with ticket sales, that's with pay-per-view buys, that's with uh, um, views on the internet, that's with uh, people knowing who the fuck Anthony Joshua is and not fucking up his name. Um, this has been a trend that is not happening because of his last fight. This has been happening for quite some time. You know, when you fight a Carlos Takam and a Pavekin, um, when you have to uh, change the, the Wembley date and bail out of the Wembley date and come to uh, America, uh, or when you um, admit to not being able to sell the Wembley date, like with Dillian White, who according to Eddie Hearn is this uh, big time fucking heavyweight, um, you know, you're a diminishing uh, product. I'm pretty sure if Wilder fought in Wembley against fucking whoever the fuck, if he fought Daniel Dubois, if he fought Dillian White, he would sell out fucking Wembley uh, pretty easily, I think. You know, um, Anthony Joshua, according to um, Matchroom and according to Eddie Hearn, was selling out stadiums in a matter of minutes. And we all know like that um, the fact that they stopped allowing... Um, people to buy mass amounts of tickets and resell them on secondary markets has a lot to do with it. But on the surface, this guy was selling out stadiums in 10, 15 minutes to fighting Povetkin and the stadium not being sold out to having to fight uh, Big Babe, uh, potentially um, Dillian White in Wembley and them being matchroom admitting to not being able to or having concerns as to not being able to sell out Wembley having to shit can that um fight and move it to Madison Square Garden uh two months later and uh there's still tons of tickets available for that fight I highly doubt that people that that fight's going to sell out I could bet my left nut that that might not even that might be um, if I had to put the ratio on it, it was probably going to be less sold out than what, um, or more tickets available or more people, less people attending that fight than what Deontay Wilder, um, had attending his fight against Brazil, a mandatory, you know, that Wilder admitted was not pay-per-view worthy. Um, so, you know, this just points to signs of being a diminishing, pro uh, diminishing product in Anthony Joshua. And, um, Wilder lending his name to anything to do with 
Anthony Joshua only gives it life. Um, whereas if he just leaves him out and to dry and I think Anthony Joshua's name is going to diminish completely from um, the, the U.S. market, to be frank. I mean, uh, and anything but having uh, continuous fights here uh, in America is an abject failure for um, Anthony Joshua. You know, you've been drumming up this whole American takeover. And if you retreat back to the U.K. like and uh, try to recoup money by making, uh, you know, 10 or 15 million bucks by selling out to fucking scrubs that just want to get drunk and watch uh, fucking spotlights in a fucking damp fucking dim stadium, you know, um, that's a failure. You know, Wilder just made a, uh, supposedly 20 million bucks to fight Brazil. Brazil ain't shit, you know. And Wilder showed Brazil ain't shit literally by knocking his ass out in a couple of minutes. You know, Wilder, um, what's Wilder going to make in his next fight if he fights somebody, uh, you know, um, who is uh, a better, uh, you know, a better opponent or somebody who's more sellable? I think if Wilder for, um, um, Forget the name of that Polish guy from Brooklyn, uh, the big baby Polish guy. Fucking uh, damn, his name slipped me, and he's one of the heavyweights I fuck with the most. But if Wilder were to fight him, um, you know that would be a bigger fight than Brazil. Um, you know that's a uh, they'd probably have to you know offer him more money if it was not on pay per view or. It could be scratching at pay-per-view. Though I don't think that's a pay-per-view match, but you get the idea. I mean, like, his uh, his star is rising. I mean, his pay has to rise as well. Um, where uh, Joshua can't tell the zone to pay him whatever they're paying him now um, when he fights again. Well, especially if he doesn't fight here in America. Um, I think that $32 million that they're supposedly paying him is... Uh, overblown and not true um we may find out about that um in the future but i if it is true i don't think that the zone is going to be willing to ante up that much money for a shitty event um that's the end of my time i'm gonna cut it short now i think i want it a little bit longer than i anticipated yeah 22 minutes or 23 minutes but uh thank you guys for watching me fucking i'm gonna try to make some more content Make sure you guys subscribe to Lowe's Dawkins the P. And uh, I hope you guys catch me on uh, when I go live. Um, my brother, Michael, J Michael, Michael Johnson, Boxing Talk and More. And make sure you subscribe to that brother as well, where we uh, talk boxing and life in general. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you could, give me a like. Or even better, a subscribe. With that, I'm out. Peace.